Hi there again. Um, I know I put this video out earlier on on another video to show that something's very, very, very wrong here, as you can see by this footage here. Um, any one of you can go and do this. You only have to actually go and just pick a piece of footage up and you just look at it a few times and you can start seeing things that just don't add up to where they say they're supposed to be and what they're supposed to be in. But really, there are two points to all this. One is uh, about uh, taking your freedom away and the other one is about subversion. Now when you see things like this, um, it is fake. This is fake. That astronaut is not there. This is some CGI. This is some rendering. Why would they have to fake it to show you that they've been and done these things? Why would they fake it? It's lies. And how do you believe liars? There he is, working away. He's moving there. Pan away, whatever they're doing. And then when you come back, you come back, he's not moving. The other one is one isn't, one is completely frozen. Now, you, us, people watching this, think this is real. Think this is <coughs> high technology. Think this is the future, that this is happening. And these people are risking their lives. It's fake. So what they're doing is they're making a fake reality for you. You are living in a fake reality. The reality you think is there doesn't exist. You believe a reality that doesn't exist. So do you see how easy it is to mind control the people? If they've got you believing that this is real, then they'll, you'll believe the fake wars are real, the fake news is real. You'll believe all that stuff you're watching on the television. You will believe it as if it is real. All this, like, I've only looked at this just like in the last couple of weeks proper. And I mean, if I found all this, anybody could find all these mistakes. You've got to add up. There's too many mistakes. How can... They've got us believing a non-reality. And what that does is, it takes your freedom away. Because you don't even know what's real. You believe this and this isn't reality. This is fake. This is making you believe something that's not real. So it is taking your freedom away. Luckily, <clears throat> some of us are now waking up and knowing that we are free in our bodies and in our minds and uh, maybe becoming a bit more spiritual through this. This is like the Emperor's clothes story, the children's story, when the Emperor was naked but tried to make everybody believe that he had beautiful clothes and in fear they all went, oh majesty, they're so beautiful, and he wasn't wearing anything. And it only changed when one person stood up and said, he's naked. And then everybody, um, then everybody woke up and decided differently. This is what this is about. This is wake up, please. This is a mask, and it is a lie. And what makes it worse is the really sad thing is that was supposed to be the biggest step that mankind had ever taken and it never happened that was not the biggest step of mankind that is a lie if you ever have listened to any of william cooper's stuff and what he explains about what nasa is it telling us about uh, what being on the moon would be like it would be one sixth of your body weight Every time they moved, they would really be bouncing six times more than if they were on Earth. Okay? So there's no way when he did that that he'd be able to just do that. He would be bouncing up. So this whole thing is a lie. And this is a form of subversion because it's controlling you and channeling you to a place that doesn't exist. And what it is, is through subversion, what they've done is they've managed to change everything. So we don't believe in our creator or gods or God, whichever way you want to look at it. 
you're now believing in false gods. You're now believing you've got to earn millions of pounds and you've got to aspire to these egotistical, well, most of them are very egotistical people with with all this money and you're, that's what you're pushed towards, money and egos, yeah? Uh, a lot of people more obese. Then they've made sure that everybody feels bad about themselves and they've broken families up, which is such a sad thing, is that everybody's just so angry and ag ag I can't say the word, antagonistic. And, um, you know, the families keep breaking up one way or another and even something like the subject of flat earth. That just makes it sound like you've killed somebody. But I suppose in reality what you're telling everybody is that the, the, uh, the life they believed in is a lie and it's too, they're too afraid or it's too frightening to think, what do you mean, you're crazy? Um, but we're not. But it's breaking up families. The whole point was to break up families, to make us feel that we didn't care about ourselves. We were absolutely worthless, just like the big sun and the worthless earth. And then... Um, uh, make you know, pushing its people into this uh, closed box lid and um, lid boxed with uh, stuff that really wasn't theirs, channeled, lied to, used, and then um, they're still able to do what they want then because now they've got you completely controlled because we're slaves to debt. So subversion again is a kind of communism. So that's we're not in a free world. A free world is not like this. It would not take this much effort to lie to you. A free world tells you the truth. I've been on holiday in Turkey. They tell you more of the truth there than they do here. We are very censored here in the West. Uh, we think we're free. Out there, we're not. In your bodies, yes, but not out there. It is completely controlled. Um, anyway, the whole point what I'm trying to do is that, to say to you, is that they've got you only looking at this past of history, of concentration camps, of soldiers, of wars, of bad, of fighting, of oppression, of, of poorness and all that. So oh, that doesn't look very good. And in the future, it's just as frightening because now there's horrible things like harp and sun and wars and terrorism and, you know, that's what's thrust in your face. So it's fearful at the front and it's fearful at the back. And in the middle, they've made sure that they've destroyed society. But I will tell you this one thing, people. It is not the government that makes your community. It really is the people. If you believe in church, it's not the buildings that make the people. It's, sorry, the buildings that make the church. It is the people. It is the people. There's nothing you can do without the people. But the people have been channeled and are depressed now and fired with harp and chemicals and chemtrails and lied to and it's depressing and you're probably going to die anyway and nothing is spiritual and a lot of people who are waking up right now it includes so many aspects of life it could have started off with the words flat earth but it is absolutely the deepest thing that you will ever ever look into it's not just about whether there's a flat horizon and the sun goes straight across and dimensions it really is the lies that we've been put in to cover up the fact that we were never on a ball in the first place but all these pains the subversion the breaking up of families the arguing the egos it's all to keep you from being here and now and I don't mean to put anybody in one thing or the other but that's what Flat Earth is about. We are here and it is now. Flat Earth. And when I say Flat Earth, I mean Mother Earth. We are living in this most amazing place that you could ever imagine. It would be lovely if we could love the place that we live in and appreciate it for what it is. It's the most futuristic thing that you could ever imagine if everybody could take all of that vision of what they think the moon and going to the moon and spaceships are all about and that realize when they're showing you like through stargate and all these dimensions and things that they've made you believe that it's all up there but it isn't it's all happening here if we really cared about where we lived and understood that 
in curvature it's eight inches a mile and then it gets squared that if that was really happening you wouldn't see miles ahead like that if you work it out it's so easy go and look up how many um, feet whatever it is you want to do it under inches meters how much it will have dropped it means you wouldn't be able to see what you see and the only reason you can't see it is you're a long way out but if you can zoom in like this person's doing then things are there that shouldn't be there that shouldn't be there like that it should be well under curve your naked eye might not be able to see it because you can only see it for so far but magnified in through a camera it's there and it shouldn't be there it should be over the curve anyway mother earth and what a lot of people may not understand is that this flat earth whatever you want to call it flat mother earth flat earth realm it is a realm so flat earth covers all the lies now it's covering the pyramids it's covering the history it's covering the language it's covering what makes us work it's covering you know most people don't even understand the whole what it what, what everything is everybody just takes everything for granted they don't even realize they're multi dimensional in their own bodies their own bodies are multi-dimensional and outside their bodies is multi-dimensional some of this stuff might go across people's heads and they may not be that interested in it I understand that but to be lied to to protect stuff is just it is it's I can't find another word because to completely lie to its people is treason um, there's just no way these things could happen if we were on a ball Everything that would about the sun would be different. Because don't forget, we would be moving. The only thing that moves in your sky is the sun. We're not moving, we're stationary. And for others who don't understand this, what it does for a certain section of us, but it would be great if it could be for everybody, is that um, we feel at peace in our hearts. Peace in our hearts. It's a very spiritual thing. Um, anyway, for the rest of the world, and for everybody, and for every flat earther, and for everyone that's not, I send out a big hug, a big hug to the world. There you go, there is the chart showing you the curvature drops. You can't have it one way without having the other way. I had someone saying to me the other day, yes, but you can't see it from 36,000 feet. Well, when can you see it if there's maths to say you can? You can't see it because there isn't any. Anyway, um, back to the hug. I'd like to end on a hug and hope that maybe it just makes some people who don't even understand about the lies, what this is all about. Um, thank you for watching.